Hello, I'm Waterstones Children's Laureate Joseph Coilo, and I love poetry, and I think you can love poetry too. I love food, all sorts of food, hot food, cold food, spicy food, sweet food, steaming food, all sorts of food. I have a poem all about my favourite foods, and I'm going to read it to you now, and we are then going to create our very own food poems. A little bit of food. A little bit of rice, a little bit of pea on my plate for my tea. A little bit of jam, a little bit of toast in the mornings when I love it most. A little bit of banger, a little bit of mash in my belly for a tasty bash. A little bit of curry with a poppadom tastes great but it burns my bar tongue. A little bit of foo-foo, a little bit of stew, eat with your fingers, that's what we do. A little bit of food on my plate, eat it all up, feeling great. I wrote this poem by thinking about the different foods I like. What foods do you like? Turn to the person next to you and tell them about your favourite foods. We'll do this for a minute or two. And on the screen, you'll see some foods to help give you some ideas. You don't need to write anything down. Just have fun chatting about the foods you like. Pause the video now and get chatting. Off you go. Did you talk about lots of different foods? Lots of foods popped into my head, foods like lamb curry, like saffron rice, like porridge with jam and steak and kidney pie and chips. I love chips and fish fingers and rice and peas and plantain and stir fry, all sorts of foods. Make a list of the foods you remember talking about, all your favourite ones. I'm going to do it too. We'll put a timer on the screen for about a minute and we'll get writing. Let's go. And stop. How did you get on? I managed to get down quite a few different kinds of foods. In my poem, A Little Bit of Food, I use the repeating line, a little bit of. And we are going to do our own version of that poem by looking at our list of foods and using them to complete the sentence, a little bit of. Like this. A little bit of lamb curry with some uh, rice. Now, my poem uses rhyme, but yours doesn't have to rhyme. Rhyme is just a tool we can use or not use. Poetry does not have to rhyme. But if I was going to make this line rhyme, I might say, a little bit of lamb curry with some rice. I like to eat it, it's very nice. Or if I don't want to make it rhyme, I could say, a little bit of lamb curry with some rice piled up in a great big bowl. And now I'm ready for my next line. A little bit of ice cream with some uh, jelly, cold and wobbling in my mouth. I like that. I might do one more. A little bit of mushy peas with some chips, hot and steaming in my hands. And if I put all those lines together, I get 
a little bit of lamb curry with some rice piled up in a great big bowl. A little bit of ice cream with some jelly cold and wobbling in my mouth. A little bit of mushy peas with some chips hot and steaming in my hands. I've separated the different lines into verses to make it look more like a poem. And notice how I've made my sentences short by going on to the next line. Every time you do this, it is called a line break. You can put line breaks wherever you think they fit, wherever you feel they sound right. Line breaks make poems look like poems. Oh, that's the poetry power up sound, which means it's time for an extra challenge for your poem. If you didn't make your poem rhyme, see if you could make it rhyme. And if you did make it rhyme, have a go at not using any rhyme at all and see how long you can make your poem. Can you do five verses, six verses, 10? Make sure you get all your favorite foods in your poem. And when you're done, maybe you could read it out loud during lunchtime or at home just before dinner. Or you could write your food poems on little cards and place them on the breakfast table so that your family can read a poem over breakfast. Just remember to smile and have fun whilst you're doing it. Bye-bye.